And I'm Lisa Ray. I'm first on Fox 5 News at 6. A small guy fights City Hall and wins. A judge has ruled in favor of a street vendor who protested a City of Atlanta program. It required him to pay rent in order to have a stand on a public sidewalk. The judge also tossed out the program, and Fox 5's Morse Diggs is live at City Hall with details. Morse. I know a lot of our viewers like to attend the Falcons games, the Hawks, or the Braves game. Maybe you like to take advantage of a discount on a souvenir before you go into the stadium. Well, the City of Atlanta program threatened to put many of those small vendors out of business. We've learned the details of a judge's order that will put the small guy back in charge, at least for the moment. No matter the event, there's a souvenir a vendor can offer yes, to mark the occasion. Uh, I got t-shirts from $10 up. When we shot these pictures, vendor Larry Miller had been told his time for being outside Turner Field was coming to an end. At issue, the city was going to do away with freestanding carts and require all vendors to rent a kiosk like these. Those kiosks controlled by a giant national company. It was a chef cropper deal, and, and it just didn't go through. Uh, basically, they wanted to take my business, put it inside of a kiosk and rent it back to me and I just couldn't see that. Miller is one of two vendors who sued City Hall. The plaintiffs won as the judge raised questions about Atlanta's decision to turn over the public sidewalks to a private firm, which would be akin to allowing the firm to own public space. There's been a legitimate reason for trying to change the vending program in Atlanta and that reason starts with the look of some of the cards. Just behind me, take a look. Well, it's kind of a hodgepodge of different stands that some of the business owners say just are not attractive to improving the look of downtown. Well, I'd like to see some improvements on public property. I mean, uh, we're, we're not without faults. The next step likely takes place in the City Council Committee of Michael Bond. What do you think needs to happen? I think we need to return to our previous ordinance and begin to manage the program uh, in-house. We have the right to work in our own community. Dr. King would turn over, this is Dr. King, he would turn over if we didn't fight for our right and respect us as entrepreneurs. This afternoon, the city attorney convened a meeting upstairs here to try to determine how to respond to the Georgia's order, a judge's order. I'm told that no decision has been made as yet. Michael Bond says it should not be all that difficult. There are only four or five dozen city vendors, and he said they ought to be able to be managed in-house and just do away with this outside company. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Morse, thanks. Uh, police.